Hey, what's up you guys? Bob Smith from Smith Taekwondo and Pro Sport Kickboxing, Hawaii's largest center for martial arts. And I want to talk to you about training. You're like, Bob, you've got 300 videos on training. I know. Now I'll have 301. But I'm on training seriously now. Uh, it comes up a lot because training people with firearms, to use firearms defensively as well as gun disarms, knife disarms, things like that. I don't care if you've been to Thunder Ranch, Gun Sight, Front Sight, um, SIG Institute, wherever you've been. I can tell you the one thing that instructors hate is that woman or man who just, I'm going to do what I want. I'm just going to do what I want. I've had guys tell me, I'm not here to learn anything, I'm just here to shoot. And I find that so offensive. But um, the purpose of training is to learn something and if you are going to pay money to go to a class to learn something why not try and learn I mean if I have somebody who is actually trying to learn a defensive handgun technique why in the world are you standing back like you're taking pot shots on your grandfather's farm with his old revolver why are you not learning to hold that weapon correctly to put a slight forward lean to take the advice that the instructors are giving you uh, you know, a good master grip, a good push-pull isometric tension on your grip, how to recoil the pistol and re control that recoil faster. Um, but I get guys who do that every class that I teach. There's people that will show up and they're like, eh, I'm going to do it my way. My way is fine. And, you know, they shoot, some of them shoot okay, they shoot pretty good. So therefore, they obviously think that they know something, which is offensive because unless I wouldn't call my myself a Navy SEAL because I've worked with Navy SEALs and they wouldn't expect me to call myself a Navy SEAL either or qualified as a Navy SEAL because I'm not. And these guys uh, want to see, want you to see that, yep, yeah, I'm good, I'm good. They can't even load their magazine correctly. You know, they'll put everything on backwards and we're doing a time drill and you'll see these guys who are fumbling with their stuff and, you know, they're looking for their holster, their magazine pouches instead of trying to actually learn something. So when you are in the firing range with an instructor and he tells you the same thing five times, chances are you might want to listen because you're probably getting on his or her nerves. I don't care if you have a man fire instru uh, uh, firearms instructor or female firearms instructor. They're trying to give you advice to make you better. Now the same thing goes in martial arts. I hate when people walk in and I'm teaching a knife drill or a knife defensive drill and they'll be like, ah, ah, I'm just going to do what I want and I'm just going to do it here and I'm going to do it a couple times and I'll walk off and I'll just whatever I feel like doing and it's good enough. And I've had those same people, uh, again, on the shooting range actually turn and point their weapon at me and then laugh about it when I'm like, whoa, wait a minute, control that muzzle. And they're like, <laughs> oh, that's so funny. No, it's not funny. So when you're training for a gun disarm or a knife defensive tactic, what are you training to do? You are training for the worst case scenario that you may possibly ever face in your life. So when you're doing those techniques, they deserve your most focused level of attention and respect. They, they, don't, they don't deserve for you to come in and laugh about it, haha. <laughs> well, I'm tired, so I'm just gonna do it once or twice and I'll walk off. They don't deserve that. Um, your partners don't deserve it. The people that you are training with, the ones that you're being examples for, um, hopefully it's not black belts doing it, but it, whoever it is, and every gym has them, I'm sure, every gym has them, and I see them here, but um, you deserve your partners deserve the best you can give them. And when you're training with a knife, don't look at it like, well, it's a fake knife, so I can just goof around and <laughs> have fun. You're training for a situation with a real knife or a real gun, in which case you don't get a second chance, and which would dictate it deserves your utmost attention to detail your utmost focus and the best you can possibly give. Not half-assed and eh, do it my way and eh, whatever. Because I can tell you, I don't care what, where you train in a combative system or a martial arts system, 
your instructors are offended when you do that. I have guys that come in and they think that they can come over and sit on the side, walk in late, sit down and stretch, and then run and do their own thing. When we have a class who's waiting for a partner, and we're all kind of standing there like, uh, waiting on you, and somehow that's okay with them. they like, oh, I'm just gonna do, do my own thing. You're at a martial arts center or a combatives training center to learn better, to make yourself better, more attentive, more disciplined, more lethal. And you're not gonna do that by, hey, look at my gun, hey, look at my gun, ah, my knife, ah, whatever, I don't care, ah, whatever, whatever you fuck, ah, what? That's not it. And you're doing a disservice to everyone in the room that you're training with when you do that. So the next time you're on a shooting range and your firearms instructor is trying to give you some advice, listen to it. You may not like it, but listen to it. They're a subject matter expert in that field, or should be, and they deserve your respect. If you're doing the same thing in your dojo, your combatives gym, your dojang, whatever, the people that you're training with deserve that same respect. They deserve it. There's no reason to ever, ever go half-assed or half-heartedly when you're doing a knife drill and play around with it and stab somebody in the butt or whatever. There's no reason to do that. This is Bob Smith, Blood Makes You Related, Loyalty Makes You Family, out.